What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on today's video, what we're gonna be focusing on is a one length bob. So we're gonna cut everything one length, we're gonna cut the fringe as well. So I think you guys are gonna get a lot out of the different techniques we use. Also, understanding true one length and getting a nice clean line. So we're gonna do that with a lot of dry detail work. And also, I'm gonna showcase a new product from Paul Mitchell called Invisible Wear. So that'll be at the end as well. So I hope you guys like the video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and make sure you hit the subscribe button before you forget so that you're always staying up to date with all the videos that we're creating. Let's get started with the video. Here we go. All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna do to set up this haircut is to part the mannequin right down the center. Then we're gonna go right down center back as well. The key thing for keeping this bob balanced is to make sure that the sectioning is balanced as well. So right down center back, then what I do is I draw a horizontal parting across the left-hand side, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the right-hand side. We're gonna bounce back and forth from the left-hand side to the right-hand side as we cut this to make sure that we keep it balanced throughout the entire cut. So my scissor choice for this cut is the Mizutani Stephen Moody Edition scissor. Uh, this is a brand new scissor that we just got. Um, so I've been playing around with it. I really enjoy the way that it cuts. It's a very slim scissor. You can see how skinny it is. And also it's nano powder metal, so it grips the hair really well and cuts these nice straight lines that I'm looking for. So I go through, I cut my baseline first, then I go through the tip of the scissor and I just even everything out and draw that line across. Then I check it with my hands to make sure that we're balanced before I move on. That's the key thing is not to skip any steps in a cut like this. You wanna really make sure that you have that balance before you move on to the next section. Because if you start the, the haircut off unbalanced, it's gonna be completely unbalanced by the end. So I go through, cut at one length. One thing that you're going to see as I'm cutting is that I do a backhand technique on the right side and then on the left side I'm actually holding the scissor a little different than a lot of people would. Um, for me, I like to cut hair comfortable. So um, I find ways that make me more comfortable, which makes me more consistent in my haircut. So what I do is I bring the, the comb down. I use the comb as my guideline. And then I go with the scissor, I use the uh, I take my thumb out and I put it in the opposite direction. And what that does is it shifts my wrist down so it allows me to be more comfortable instead of having my elbow kicked way up in the air uh, when I'm cutting the back portion of the haircut. So that's just a tip for me. That's something that I do. Some of you guys will be more comfortable doing it other ways. So, you know, what I'd say is stick to the way that's comfortable for you. You'll be more consistent in your cutting. So now I bring a horseshoe section all the way around, still only working about maybe an inch at the most uh, based on the density of the mannequin. So I'm not taking too big a sections. The other thing is you're working with head shape and you want to make sure that you're getting that kind of flow with the curvature of the head. So small sections are going to give you more success. Also, the thicker the section you take, um, the challenge that comes in, if you take too thick of a section, you're going to start pushing the hair and then you're going to get an uneven line. So nice thin sections will give you more success in the cut. So I keep working that uh, horseshoe all the way around and just following my line. Now this is also a good way to practice. So like, let's say that you have a mannequin in the salon. To go through and do this with a mannequin helps really work on your consistency because layering hides a lot of stuff. So working on your combing, your tension, all of that different stuff, all these different techniques that it takes to create a nice straight line in a haircut it's such a good way to practice. So if you have a mannequin laying around, you could try doing this one length cut, then uh, go through and layer it later, you know, and, and create another cut with it. But try this first because it'll really, it really challenges you to uh, get your eye right when you're cutting. Now, as we move towards the top of the head shape, what I'm gonna be doing is sectioning off the fringe, which is a nice little triangle section right in the bang area and I section that off, clip it away so that I'm not worried about cutting that hair right now. Then what we'll do is we'll go in, we'll finish that outer perimeter. So you'll see me going in with the point of my scissor. Now here's what happens. The hair that's over top of the crown, that's really at that high point of the head that's falling over, I like to go in with the point of my scissor more than the flat of the scissor. And the reason for that is it gives me a softer feel to the line. So I can always go in and, and cut into it and make it even a sharper line, but that using the tip of my scissor gives me a little bit of freedom so that later on when I go in to cut it, 
it, um, I have an easier time cutting that straight line. Also, uh, using the tip of the scissor doesn't allow you to push the hair. You're not trying to cut too much hair at once. So just use that tip of the scissor, then you can go in and redefine it with the flat part of the scissor later. So to cut the fringe, this part uh, in the wet cut, most of, mostly I'm gonna focus on this on the dry cut, but for the wet cut, I'm just stamping in the length that I want. Um, you guys could do this whole entire thing on the wet cut, but I like to get the the length that I'm going for cut first. And then the dry part of the cut is a, a lot easier because you already have your line. Now, one thing with cutting the fringe is to make sure that you're not putting a lot of tension on it. So what I do is I pick it up with my scissor, I place it into the comb, and then I cut it from there instead of holding it in my hand, creating too much tension. Now this is the product that we wanted to focus on, so it's Invisible Wear Memory Shaper. Uh, the cool thing about the whole Invisible Wear line for Paul Mitchell is that it, um, it really leaves the hair undone looking. So it creates a lot of texture, a lot of movement, um, and that's really cool for this type of cut because this cuts a very precise cut um, with not a lot of texture. So being able to expand that texture out using a couple different products is pretty cool. So um, I'm using these products to kind of fatten up the hair a bit, to add that texture and just kind of show off the shape. So we do a flat wrapping uh, technique to keep the hair nice and flat, but also using a vent brush to keep the root having a little bit of volume. And then I work that front back and forth. I'm really prepping myself to cut that fringe area. So I wrap it back and forth on the head, uh, which is going to kind of form the hair to the head shape and give me a nice curvature on the hair, uh, on the end style. So I just work the hair back and forth. You can see how it starts to form. Then I go in and I take a, my iron and I work a nice beveled edge on it. And that'll help me with my dry cutting later as well. So last little bit, you can see the shine on the hair. It's definitely got a lot of shine to it. Um, now I'm going to go into the fringe and do the same exact thing, but I'm going to even out that line. So now that I've really uh, blown it dry nice, I can just lift it up lightly, use the wide teeth of my comb, place the hair into the wide teeth, and then use the flat of the scissor. The key thing here is not to do too much elevation. The more you elevate, the more it layers it. So keep it nice, at, at, let's call it a 45 degree angle, kind of off of the head shape. So just keeping it nice and low so that you don't get that layered effect in the fringe. And I'll go through and I'll work that for about, you know, up to five minutes, just really working and detailing that front part. And I'm going to do the same thing on the outer perimeter. So a lot of people think that the outer perimeter gets a, a nice defined line in the wet cut, but that's not really the truth. You cut the length that you want in the wet cut. Then you go through and do all of your detail work uh, throughout the outer perimeter with your scissor on the dry cut. So I do a nice finish. Then I use the tip of the scissor and I work my way all the way around the head shape. I probably spend another seven minutes uh, cutting this part of the haircut. So I'm showing you guys only a little clip of it, but you really go around and define the line to get that nice precise feel. Now this is a cool product uh, with Invisible Wear as well. It's called Pump Me Up. It creates a ton of texture, a lot of, uh, it really fattens up the shape. Um, it's a powder that goes into the hair and you can see um, how it adds texture even though we didn't create a really textured haircut. Uh, so that's one of the cool things about that product. So here's the smoothed out finish uh, on the cut. I hope you guys like this cut. Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you made it this far in the video, I always love hearing that. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, guys, like always, if you liked this haircut, then hit the like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your friends, and also make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I got new videos coming out all of the time. So if you have any questions, again, post them below. And also, if you're looking to purchase any hairdresser tools, then go to freesaloneducation.com. You can purchase all the tools I used in this video there, and you can see all different kinds of videos on there as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.